A memorial wall honoring the sacrifices of soldiers who died in the Korean War is riddled with errors. It is estimated there are over 1,000 mistakes on the 27-year-old Korean War Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington. The list includes typos, missing names of American service members, and names of service members who died in circumstances totally unrelated to the war. Two brothers whose father served in the Korean War were instrumental in lobbying and raising funds for the Memorial Wall, and now they are on a mission to save it and get it fixed. Let's bring in Hal Barker. He's a historian and founder of the Korean War Project. Hal and his brother Ted have a comprehensive database and repository of information about the war on their website. It's koreanwar.org. So, Mr. Barker, thank you for joining us. Uh, you've described this wall as a mess. So, quick question, how does it happen? How does this happen? Well, the uh, Department of Defense has a error-riddled uh, database they've been using for uh, 70 years. Uh, errors, uh, bookkeeping errors, problems with uh, research. And uh, we warned them 24 years ago about this. We warned them three years ago about this, the White House, the Secretary of Defense, the uh, Department of the Interior, and they said they had it handled, but they did not have it handled. So here we are. That's unbelievable. How are the families reacting to this mess? It is not pleasant. Um, many statements I could not print, <laughs> but uh, very unhappy. And uh, we've been working with Korean War history. I've been working with Korean War history now for, for over 40 years. And in 1993, we obtained the um, uh, records uh, database uh, records and found that uh, there were huge numbers of mistakes with spelling of names, serial numbers, locations of uh, hometowns, states, uh, countries of origin. So we began an intensive uh, crowdsourced uh, operation when we went online in 1995 as one of the first uh, internet websites, public websites. And since then, we have worked with the Department of Defense for 27 years with the Department, uh, with the Defense POW MIA accounting agency to identify problems with MIA issues. Uh, we provide uh, a wealth of information, thousands of contacts with the Department of Defense, but the uh, Department of Defense at the higher levels right now don't know about that and don't know that we have had a, uh, an operation doing research for the Department of Defense for decades. So it sounds like in order to fix this, uh, they just pay attention to your research and we can get this all taken care of. Is that right? Yes. Actually, the Department of Defense contacted me in October and said, we need help with a database. Unfortunately, that was years late. Um, so I gave them a wealth of information and uh, then I asked for information from the Department of Defense, and they said, well, you have to file a FOIA, and it'll be about one to two years to get that data. So it's, you know, we wanted a quid pro quo. We'll give you data, you give us data, and they said no. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.